You can see here, this is where we left off um, on designing our page. I've got my um, header text here, Dave's web page, and this is as a, an H1 tag. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click inside the header div here, and I'm going to go to CSS Designer panel, open that up. Make sure I select the header div that I want to put the background image in. Then I'm going to choose from the properties list the fourth from the left, which is background property. Um, and I'm going to go down to background image. And where it says URL, I'm going to go all the way over to this little folder to browse to the file. I click browse. Um, and just to make sure that we've got the right image, I'm clicking on desktop, locate my root folder, my images folder, and the banner background PNG. This is where I want the, the image to be located. That's where it is. Check the dimensions, 750 by 266. Click open. And you can see it has... Um, put the image in the background there for the div, but it is not showing the whole image. So I need to make the um, header div a little bit bigger, a little bit, uh, give it a bit more height. So I click once again, CSS Designer. This time I'm going to go with the header div selected, go to the layout option. Here's where we set the width, and I'm also going to set the height. So I click in there, choose pixels, and I'm going to set this to the height of the image, which I know is 266. Hit return. And there is my image uh, in my web page. And it looks fine, except that we have Dave's web page still there. Now, here's a dilemma. We don't want to see H1, this H1 tag, but we still want it to be there. And the reason we want it to be there is because this is what's going to be returned when somebody searches for my web page. So if somebody types in Dave's web page and that is removed uh, from my site, A, they're not going to find my web page, and B, um, nothing is going to be returned. This text is not going to re be returned. So I need to keep this. Um, in here, but make it so it's not visible. The image itself doesn't return any value. Um, this is this concept of replacing text or replacing um, text with images um, and hiding the text through CSS is referred to as semantic integrity. And in order to do that, to keep the semantic integrity of our page, I'm going to go over to the CSS Designer panel here. And I'm going to choose Header H1. And I'm going to go to Text Properties. And where it says... Um, uh, if I go all the way up to the top, where it says Display, I look for the Display property. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose none. And you can see it disappears from view, but nevertheless, it's still there in the code of the page. So um, that's an important technique to know. We now have our H1 tag in there, but we've replaced it with a, a background uh, element, which looks a little bit more appealing to us. The next thing I'm going to do is I want the background of my page to match this image a little bit more. And to do that, I'm going to go back to the CSS designer and my body rule. I click on body and I'm going to go to layout, um, actually, I'm sorry, to uh, background properties. And I'm going to choose the background color, click on that. Only this time, instead of using the um, color palette, I'm going to use the dropper tool, or the color selector, color picker, as we call it. And I'm just going to grab a color out of the, the image that I have. And maybe I'll try this orange color from the Opera House. 
I'd like to go more on the pale side if I can. There we go. So I'm going to choose that color from the background. Um, and maybe I'll try something a little more from the lettering. That might be a bit more interesting. Okay, it's dark, but it's okay. It'll work. And then the last thing I want to do is um, I want to make the edges of the um, banner image less rectangular. So I'm going to round the corners here. And to do that, I simply go to, once again, to the CSS Designer panel. I'm going to go back to my header div, uh, choose that. And this time I'm going to go to um, all the way down to the border radius. Under layout, if you scroll down, um, there's a property called border radius. And if we click on each one of these areas, and I'm just going to give it, um, I'm going to try 20 pixels, hit tab. 20 pixels. It may be too much, but we'll give this a shot, see how it goes. 20 pixels. Um, so this is going to round the edges by about 20 pixels on my image. And you can see you don't see anything. So this is one of those times where you can switch from design view to live view to see how that border, radi uh, that, uh, border radius looks. And you can see it's given it a little bit of a rounded edge. Um, and I think that's going to be fine. I'm going to leave it like that. And just to make sure, just to double check that everything looks good here, I'm going to preview it in my web browser. And so, yes, I want to save the changes to my index.html and also or save the changes to my CSS document. So I click yes to that uh, and it previews my page and there it is with the background image uh, and um, everything is working as it should. So that is how to add a background uh, image to your header and uh, make your H1 tag invisible thereby maintaining semantic integrity.